Extreme strains is what I dream about. Exhaling smoke in the turf, start yelling. Wings start flapping when I start exhaling. Rolling up. Thanks for rolling up with Two Blunt Marley. And this is Certified Pie Hit. Smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs. You know what you're about to do, Bird Cup. You're about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Tonight's theory is about Donald Trump's demon. If you think hell is full of competent demons who bring their A game to the table, meet Blaze Vistopheles, a demonic underachiever with a penchant for weed and a flair for failure. Tasked by Satan himself to sabotage Donald Trump's ventures, Blaze Vistopheles was the chosen hell spawn for the job. After all, Trump's business record for the bankruptcies and controversies seemed like low hanging forbidden fruit. But Blaze's execution? Well, let's just say it left Satan redder than usual. Each attempt to derail Trump's empire was thwarted, not by angelic intervention but by Blaze's love for cannabis. What followed was a saga of bots, sabotage, devilish excuses, and more puns than there are souls in hell. Let's dive into Blaze's infernal failures. First was Trump Tower. The foundation of Trump Tower was Blaze Vesosfeli's first target. His nefarious blueprint involved convincing contractors to replace high quality cement with demonic quick dry concrete which would crack under pressure literally the idea was to ensure the glittering skyscraper became a million dollar pile of rubble ruining trump's reputation and finances in one glorious collapse what actually happened before sneaking onto the construction site blaze lit up some devil's lettuce og thinking it would spark inspiration instead it sparked existential dread staring at a half-built tower blaze mused is humanity's need to build upward just a metaphor for their inability to cope with morality by the time he snapped out of it the contractors had poured the actual concrete perfectly trump tower rose a testament to blaze's failure blaze explains to satan i laid the groundwork but my plans just solidified prematurely Happens to the best of us, right? Satan's response. You're telling me a skyscraper and your hands stood firm? Blaze, I didn't assign you to prop up his empire. Here's a riddle. For I reach for the heavens, a beacon of gold, housing the stories of wells half told, built on a foundation that should have failed. But even a demon sabotage was derailed. What am I? Blaze's second attempt was Trump shuttle with Trump venturing into the airline industry blaze set his sight on trump shuttle his goal sabotage the planes to create a pr disaster he planned to infiltrate the hangar and replace essential engine parts with his patented infernal bearings which would overheat mid-flight a cascade of delays emergency landings and fiery failures would leave trump grounded permanently what actually happened blaze arrived at the hangar after indulging in a joint of sky high sour diesel suddenly the planes reminded him of phoenixes which sent him spiraling into poetic reflection metal phoenixes soaring through mortal skies carrying dreams and peanuts alike instead of swapping the engine parts blaze got distracted by drawing fiery doodles on the maintenance checklist by the time he remembered the plan Trump's shuttle was already bleeding money due to his own deficiencies. Blaze stammers to Satan. I didn't forget the engine's boss. I just thought it'd be premature to make his fleet crash and burn when his finances were doing it for me. Satan's response. I sent you to clip his wings. Not write emo poetry about flight attendant. Here's another riddle for you. I took to the skies with the name of fame. But soon my passengers felt only shame. A shuttle with name but a failure in the air. What am I? Trump didn't care. Blaze's next attempt came with uh, Trump University. Trump's foray in education was an open invitation for diabolical interference. Blaze schemed to hack into the system, leak fake diplomas, and create a scandal so catastrophic 
that even Hale's admission department would laugh. Lawsuits would flood in, Trump's credibility would crumble, and Blaze would finally get a gold star from Satan. What actually happened? Blaze decided to fuel his hacking system with a joint of Professor Pot. Unfortunately, the strain unlocked his inner educator. Instead of sabotaging Trump University, he spent the night drafting his own hellish courses. Demonic Negotiation Tactics 101, Soul Caesar Advanced Studies, and Fireproofing for Beginners. By the time Blaze sobered up, lawsuits from students were actually already piling up, rendering his plan unnecessary. His excuse for Satan? Boss, I didn't sabotage Trump University. I enhanced it. Now, hell you has the edge in academic dishonesty. Satan's response, you managed to make Trump look more competent. How? How do you fail upward? Riddle time. Promised the path to fortune and fame, but students were left with little to claim. A school in name, but a scam in disguise. What am I? Only lawsuits comprise. Blaze had another go at it with uh, Trump Taj Mahal. The Trump Taj Mahal Casino was the crown jewel of Trump's Atlantic City ventures. But Blaze schemed to infiltrate the vault and swap legitimate casino chips with cursed demonic tokens that evaporated when cashed out. Customers would riot, investors would flee, and Trump's empire would fold like a bad poker hand. What actually happened? Before his mission, Blaze puffed on Infernal Indica, thinking it would calm his nerves. Instead, it turned him into a compulsive gambler. It trashed by the casino lights. Blaze snuck in and spent hours gambling with the very fake chips he intended to plant. When security caught him, he panicked and claimed he was a consultant from the Underworld Division of Gambling Affairs. Instead of ruining the casino, Blaze accidentally boosted profits with Hell's counterfeit cash. His excuse to Satan was classic. Boss, I wasn't playing games. I was conducting a fiery stress test on his operation. Satan's response, you turned the Taj Mahal into the house of Blaze. I hate you. Here's another riddle for you. I stood in Atlantic City, a palace of bets, where fortunes were made and losses met, a monument to risk and money's allure. What am I? A failure, that's for sure. By the end of Blaze Vistopheles' tenure as Trump's would-be saboteur, Satan was done. Each failed plan, each excuse, each ridiculous pun had worn hell CEO thin. But Blaze remained ever optimistic. You see, boss, I'm not a failure. I'm a slow burn saboteur. Give it another millennium. Trump's empire will topple like dominoes. Satan's reply, Blaze, the only thing toppling is my faith in you. And so, Blaze Fistopheles was reassigned to a simpler task. Messing with cable news hosts. As for Donald Trump, he remains an enigma, a man who even hell's least competent demon could bring down. Blaze, however, is convinced that the next time, if there is one, he'll finally blaze the trail to triumph, or at least remember to finish what he starts. The answers to the Riddle Tower, Trump Shuttle, Trump University, Trump Taj Mahal. I'll see y'all in the next one, bruh.